Hey friends, today we are hanging out at the Magic Kingdom. It has been a while since I've been here last, so I decided to go all out. I bought the new and improved Genie Plus to see how it works, and then also a Lightning Lane for Tron. So we're gonna ride Tron today. On top of all that, Disney released tons of new snacks around the park, and I figured it was the perfect day to come out, ride lots of rides, eat lots of food, and have a beautiful Magic Kingdom kind of day. Anywho, let's go do this the new genie plus system is different because you have to pick which park you want to go to and use genie plus and the price changes per park so i picked magic kingdom today for 25 dollars, and the lowest it looks like is animal kingdom and this is supposed to make it so that there is more availability for lightning lane selections and not so crowded in one park and we're going to test it out the Tron Lightning Lane I got was $20 and then $25 for Genie Plus. So I'm starting out the day already negative $45 and I still have lots of food I want to buy for the day. But honestly, like I said, I haven't been here in a while and I just want to live it up. I want to ride tons of rides and I want to explore all the lands and just have a magical like Magic Kingdom day. When I say it's been a while since I've been to Magic Kingdom, it's been just about two months actually. The last time I was here was May 9th and we are ending June already, so that's a long time for me. Two months is a long time for me because I'm usually here once a week. I only live two minutes away, but I've been traveling so much. We've been to New Orleans, we've been to Marceline, we've been to Philadelphia, Hershey, Lancaster, New York, New Jersey, just in those two months. And I've been missing my park days. I've been missing coming out and riding rides all day and showing you guys all the new stuff in the park. So I'm glad we're doing it today. In fact, I'm so excited we're going to dive right on into riding some rides. And my first lightning lane of the day is going to be for the many adventures of Winnie the Pooh. And then we're going to make another one once we're off the ride. But look at I'm so excited. Look at Bada bing! I love Winnie the Pooh. It's one of my favorite dark rides. But as soon as I tapped in for my lightning lane, I went to the app to make another lightning lane and I got Pirates of the Caribbean for this exact time right now. So as soon as we get off, we can go ride Pirates. And I was looking at some of the other like selections, like Big Thunder Mountain and Peter Pan are like two hours away. So already I can see that there's more availability with the way they set up Genie Plus. And I'm excited. As soon as we get done here, we're going to be able to go ride pirates. Oh, wow. Look at this. Tigger is just roaming around, getting ready to head in for uh, his little meet and greet. Hi, Tigger. That's kind of cool. Wait, if Tigger's right there, that means Winnie the Pooh and probably all of his friends are right behind us. What is Tigger doing there? <laughs> I think he's just waiting for his friends. Yeah, waiting for... I know. You're the early one. I wasn't expecting that. <laughs> oh, okay, there's Pooh. <laughs> Hi, Pooh. And here comes our honey pot. I'm so excited. On the East Wind traded places with the
glad we started off with Winnie the Pooh. That, like I said, is one of my all-time favorite dark rides. And now that we have an hour to get to Pirates of the Caribbean, I figured maybe we'd grab a snack, grab something to eat, show you some of the new food, and then slowly start making our way over there. This isn't exactly new new, but there is a Little Mermaid milkshake and it's a cookies and cream milkshake, which makes me think it's kind of like the gray stuff. It's like a gray stuff milkshake and it's called Divinely Dibacle. Divinely Dibacle. D Divinely Dibacle. <laughs> I don't know why I'm having such a hard time saying that. Divinely Dibacle. Divinely Dibacle. That's the way. And uh, it looks amazing. I wonder if it's going to look just like that picture. It's kind of funny because this milkshake is actually purple and I've been seeing a lot of the Grimace milkshake all over my social media so it's kind of like a little Grimace milkshake. I don't even know what the Grimace milkshake tastes like but this one like I said cookies and cream can't go wrong with that. Honestly, I feel like it looks just like the picture. Holy moly, look at it, it's purple. And I'm excited to try this. I think it's gonna be, I love cookies and cream things. So this is right up my alley. And it's a hot day, so it's gonna cool me off a little bit. Here it is, the first taste. Oh yeah, this tastes just like a gray stuff, like the gray stuff cupcake from BR Gaspel Cookies and Cream. But I love it, it's so good. Mm. I believe it is like 95 degrees out right now and it's just holding up pretty well <laughs> it's kind of like a, a miracle I was gonna get some ice cream but then I was like I don't want the ice cream running all over the place this is much more convenient I was gonna start making my way over to pirates but there's no line for the carousel so I think we're gonna go ride the carousel first and I love this it reminds me of my trip to Knobles this past month there's no way you can pass up the carousel if there's no weight. You know what I mean? I love carousels. Like I was talking about Knobles, uh, one of the theme parks I visited in Pennsylvania. You actually have to reach out and pull out little brass rings for the uh, carousel they have there. I think I'm going to go with this big guy right here. Look at this. He looks like a uh, gladiator, right? Like with the lion and everything. I like this one. Oh boy, here we go. And I just love the music too. I literally love the carousel so much. I have no idea why. And this, uh, the carousel was Ariel's first uh, ride she ever did was the carousel. Look at this, I wonder if she would love to come here and ride this one. I think she would love this one too. I'm not sure if my horse has a name, but I think I'm gonna call him Henry. I don't know why Henry, but I feel like that's a good name, Henry. Look at the view from the castle. Oh, I think we're stopping. I think we're coming to a stop. The carousel was so much fun. I'm glad we stopped and rode it, but now it's time to make our way over to Pirates. But I think we might get cut off by the parade, and I don't mind. I don't mind actually watching the parade a little bit. The parade is happening right now, and look at the Lost Boys and Wendy actually just hanging out on the bridge right there. How cool is that? Oh, I like that. They're just like hanging out on the bridge, just walking along. And then here comes Peter Pan and Hook. Oh. Away we go! I don't think I've ever seen a dragon crossing a bridge before, but it looks kind of amazing. Wow. why that was so cool but I like the perspective of watching the parade as they cross the bridge I don't know why I think it's so cool because there's nobody on either side for the characters to interact so they're kind of just improv in it and I like that 
Now it is time to head on into Pirates, and I'm glad we got a lightning lane. It's a 50 minute wait, and it's all the way backed out to the front of the, uh, the entrance of the ride. So uh, hopefully we won't wait long. As soon as I touched in for my lightning lane for Pirates, I made another one for Big Thunder Mountain exactly after we ride Pirates. So we are really just stacking them and they're there, they're available. So them making like you choose a part to buy Genie Plus and raising the price, I feel like is definitely making the availability there. Like it's making it a lot more. And that was one of my biggest issues with Genie Plus. When you pay, you should be guaranteed to ride the rides you want. And I kind of feel like it's going that way today i mean of course it's gonna be harder to get some of them but normally on a day if i want to do big thunder mountain i would have to book it like three hours in advance there's no way i could get it immediately after i just got done riding a ride so something's working we got the front row look at that i'm excited maybe we'll get a little wet i always feel like you get the wettest on pirates from the front row was so good and I cooled off so much already like it is so refreshing in there and another thing I want to point out about pirates here in the Magic Kingdom at Walt Disney World we have more smells I feel like the pirates in Disneyland is better but I think over here we have different and a more variety of smells on the attraction and uh, now I kind of want to get something to eat before we ride Big Thunder because we are gonna literally go ride Big Thunder and then Tron like we're like this has been amazing so far Right outside Pirates of the Caribbean, they have Tortega Tavern, and they have a bunch of new food here. Everything from orange chicken strips to a peanut butter chocolate hazelnut spread and banana sandwich to a desert pear lemonade pirate slushy. There's a lot going on here, and I think we should try some of it. I never see this open usually. I don't think the uh, peanut butter Nutella banana sandwich is new here, but I've never had it before. But the orange chicken strips are new here. And this restaurant isn't open a lot. It's closed most of the time. And it closes today at five o'clock actually. So if you ever plan on coming here, come before five if it's even open. And here are the orange chicken strips. I mean, they're just chicken strips tossed in orange sauce, but I still think it's pretty unique. I think they were $10.99, and they come with four chicken strips because there's one hidden underneath there, but they look very good. They're very sticky, though, very sticky. And then here is the uh, peanut butter banana uh, Nutella sandwich. Look at that. Uh, you can actually see them in the back there. They're grilling up the uh, bread and everything, like they do it fresh. They toast it up, they add the spread in there, peanut butter. I pulled it apart to show you guys, but I'm excited to dive in. This was, I think, cheaper than those, and you get chips with this as well. I am honestly so excited to try the food here because it looks so unique, you know what I mean? You don't find peanut butter, banana, Nutella sandwiches, and orange chicken strips on a lot of menus here at the Magic Kingdom. And I also ran into a friend who has a, a social media called Solo Rider and he gave me one of his hats. Look at that, he's on YouTube and Instagram and I was like, oh thank you, a fancy new hat. And I think I'm going to start with the uh, peanut butter Nutella. I also want to point out that I got the pirate lemonade, but it is not holding up as well as the milkshake. Look at this. 
it's kind of already it, it's melted a lot but i'm excited to try it it looks pretty good everything's purple yeah i wonder what's going on with purple okay first things first here it is the peanut butter nutella sandwich i'm so excited i love nutella and peanut butter elvis would have liked this oh that's good the bread is too thick for my liking what wow. what's wrong with it it's a, it's a good it's, it's just a thick bread <laughs> it's a thick bread <laughs> No, on the ship, we're lucky if we get bread at all. I bet. Well, thank you, Captain Jack. <laughs> wow. <laughs> I'm done. I'm just going home now. I'm going home. I don't even know what to say. <laughs> I was saying the bread was too thick, and Captain Jack Sparrow didn't like it. He came over and said, what's wrong with the bread on the ship? We don't even get bread. Wow, but it, <laughs> it's a little bit too thick. I'd like to taste more of the Nutella and the banana. <laughs> wow. <laughs> okay, <laughs> enough of the sandwich. It's time to get to the chicken strips. I'm sorry, it took a while for me to actually recover from that. <laughs> it was a lot. I already texted my mom. <laughs> but I'm gonna cut open the chicken. There we go, a nice little spot right there. And here we go, orange chicken strips. I really like this orange sauce. It's not, it's not too sweet. And uh, these are different chicken tenders too. Like I know my Disney chicken tendies and I can tell you what, I think these are different, like a different like brand or something. But I like this overall, it's actually really amazing. I mean, if I would have to choose between either one of them, I probably would go with the orange uh, chicken strips again. And the drink, this is actually really good. I wish I could have tried it before it melted down, but it's super refreshing. I'm constantly looking over my shoulder because I don't know when Captain Jack Sparrow is gonna hop out of nowhere again. Like, I don't even know what he was doing over here. <laughs> like, I know he, he usually does like his meet and greet out in front of pirates, but what is he doing inside the dining room of Tortega Cavern? Tortega Tavern, oh, that's why, because he's in the tavern. It makes total sense. Cheers to the pirate lemonade. Whatever you do though, do not pick up these chicken tenders with your hands. Use a fork, they are way too sticky. But it's good, I like it, I approve. And so does Jack, uh, Captain Jack Sparrow. It was nice to grab something to eat from Tortega, or it's Tortiga. I'm not too sure how to say it, but I instantly read it and think Tortega. And how awesome was it that Captain Jack Sparrow came up to the table just as I was talking about how thick the bread was. <laughs> that was kind of funny. Overall, I really like the food there. The uh, orange uh, chicken tenders are very saucy, very saucy. They cause a big mess, but I thought they were pretty good. And I liked the uh, sandwich too. I thought it was good. Uh, the bread was a little thick. Um, don't tell Captain Jack Sparrow and uh, now I think we're gonna make our way over to Big Thunder do a little wildest ride in the wilderness as I was making my way over to Frontierland we walked past the Golden Oak outpost and something caught my eye and I was like wait a second what is that and it was a sweet tea slushy and I don't know if this is new, but I've never had it. And I love sweet tea. And you can actually do an Arnold Palmer slushy too, where they put premium lemonade and sweet tea together. So I have to get one. I've been trying to stay cool all day today. So all of these slushies are actually really hitting hard. But I, at first I thought this was maybe a Coke slushy, but this is literally a sweet tea slushy. And I'm so excited to try it. Look at it. Oh wow, I don't know if this is new, it, it, maybe this has been here for a while and I never, I've never seen it because the Golden Oak Outpost right here, that also closes early. So here we go, sweet tea slushy. It definitely tastes like tea though and please do not feed the critters. Okay, it starts to taste a lot better once it melts a little bit. I don't know why it tastes a little bit better, but it definitely sweetens up a little bit. Maybe because it's like, you know, the ice is actually turning into a liquid and causing it to be a little bit sweeter, I feel like. I don't know, there's some kind of science there. 
Now it's time for us to start making our way over to Frontierland and you can see Tiana's Bayou Adventure is coming along pretty fast. They've already installed the water tower up there with Tiana's Tierra. Tiana's Tierra, I think that's what it is on top. And I'm so excited for this to open back up. I definitely need a water ride. Today would have been a great day to get wet. So uh, once it does open back up, I'm sure a lot of people, the line is going to be super long. And we actually just did a video in New Orleans with uh, Walt Disney Imagineering as uh, we kind of learned the process of how they came up with the story and the music behind the attraction. That was one of my all-time favorite videos to ever make. And if you guys haven't watched it yet, please go back and check it out. I literally went to New Orleans with the Walt Disney Imagineers who are creating Tiana's Bayou Adventure. And they took me on this adventure to research everything that they needed for the attraction itself. So we went out on the bayou. We learned about the food, the music, everything New Orleans has to offer. They're going to incorporate inside the attraction. It was really amazing and I'm excited to see it open back up. But it is time now for the wildest ride in the wilderness. And I understand since you guys are tired, like five there we go. Now that we've checked in, I gotta look to see what else is available. Let's see, Big Thunder Mountain, 7.30. Oh, we can go ride Buzz Lightyear right after this. Look at that, book experience, exactly at 5.20. So in just nine, 19 minutes. Is he just laying flat there? Guys, that squirrel is alive, I swear to you. And it's just laying down, resting, because it's too hot out right now. Look at that squirrel just sitting up there. Look at that. That looks like a Capri Sun down there too. You see it? Oh. Time to take our hat off. It's that time. Here we go. Thunder is always amazing. I'm always either sliding around from back and forth because if I'm by myself, like when it hits those sharp turns, my whole body goes with it. Or when you hit that little leap and you literally come out of your seat. And we're talking about Big Thunder Mountain here. That's why it's the wildest ride in the wilderness. I said that now three times today, I feel like. As we are making our way over to Tomorrowland, I wanted to stop and show you a little bit of the construction for Tiana's Bayou Adventure from the other side of the bridge. And it looks like, I don't even know what they're doing here. I, I don't think they're ch like changing out. They must be changing out something with the track, but I'm excited for it to open up. I can tell you there's gonna be a lot of animatronics in this attraction, just like the previous one. And the story is gonna be amazing, full of original music and some twists to some of the classics 
classics and the story itself is a continuation of the uh, film Princess and the Frog and uh, since it's a continuation I don't think Dr. Facilier is going to be inside the attraction itself. Sad to say you know usually when you go up that big hill and it's kind of creepy I think they're going to use that as a build up to a celebration instead of making it like scary it's going to be like a build up to a grand celebration as you come down but yeah soon it'll be open and we'll find out look at the light right there too look at that that's going to be cozy Another thing I wanted to share with you guys, when we sat down and kind of had a one-on-one -on -one with the Walt Disney Imagineers who are creating the attraction, uh, we were able to ask a lot of questions. We weren't allowed to film it though, but we could talk about what we learned. And one of the questions somebody asked was if there was going to be any like Easter eggs to Splash Mountain or if they were going to be reusing any of the animatronics. And the Imagineers, quote, they said, we cannot talk about that at the moment. So basically, I feel like they're implying that they're gonna announce or that there will be something, but they said that we just want, they, they basically said they want us to ride it and figure it out ourselves. So there's gonna be something. All right, now it is time to make our land a Tomorrowland. And we're gonna, did I just say it's time to make our land into Tomorrowland? I think I did. I don't know what I said there, but it's time to make our way into Tomorrowland and uh, go ride Tron. I'm so excited to ride Tron. And I even brought my GoPro, so we're gonna be able to film it. Now, also, don't forget, we do have a Buzz Lightyear lightning lane that we can come back and ride. And also, there's some new food over by the Tron stand. I think they have a new drink. And uh, since we're drinking a lot of drinks today, might as well. Another new snack that they have is the Mike Wazowski cake. Look at this. It's a little Mike Wazowski cake. Orange blossom mango mousse cake with a candy eye. And I think we're going to try it. Well, would you look at that. Mike Wazowski finally got his big break and now he's famous. He's got his own dessert with his face on it. How cool is that? And it's starting to melt a little bit, so we have to cut it open and see what it looks like on the inside. I thought it was funny to cover Mike Wazowski's face. If you guys seen the movie, you know what I mean. And now I'm gonna cut it right in half, see what it looks like. I think it may be a little orange on the inside. This is gonna be so interesting. Look at this. All right, let me see. I'm gonna try doing it this way. I don't know if it's gonna cut this. Oh no, this ain't gonna cut in half. Oh yeah, look at it. Kind of just fell apart there. Let's give this little guy a taste here. Hmm. It's good. I just don't know if it's worth the $8. And now it kind of looks like a hard boiled egg. A green hard-boiled egg. Green eggs and Mike Wazowski. We keep getting sidetracked, but we're heading to Tron now. It's just I walked past that sign, and I was like, ooh, Mike Wazowski. So I had to stop and get the cake. And there it is, the people mover. <laughs> no, there it is. There's Tron, even though I love the people mover. And I'm glad we got a lightning lane, because I'm sure the wait for the uh, virtual queue is quite long. I am very excited to ride Tron, and I always like to point this out in case anyone has never came here before. If you join the virtual queue, uh, you still have to wait in line. Even though you get a return time, you still have to wait in a standby line. And sometimes it could be 30 minutes to an hour. To I've even heard stories saying that it was two hour wait. But if you buy the lightning lane, then you can skip the line and still join the virtual queue, I think. And uh, yeah, we have my GoPro. So I'm to be able to film on it. You can't bring your camera or anything like that unless it's a body harness and that's what kind I have and I'm excited. It's been a while. Just look at how fun this is. I also want to point if you have bigger cabs this ride can be a little bit of a challenge and not very accommodating. Now it doesn't matter if you are on the heavier side or not, it just matters about the size of your calf muscles. I know guys that are professional weightlifters, wrestlers, athletes that cannot fit on this ride because their calves are too big. I am gonna ride the cycle though. I have rid it before and it was really tight, but uh, I'm gonna do it again. And uh, if you wanna
want to watch that video, you can go back and watch it. I give it a little bit more of an example of how you can fit in there because you have to learn to be able to relax and sit with your feet flat against the back there. And the restraints are very difficult, but I have a whole Tron video. You guys can look it up if you want. Today, I'm just excited to ride. Here is all of the standby. As you can see, it's a pretty long wait. I'm not too sure how long it would be. Maybe, uh, I don't know, about an hour from this point. I would say it's an hour wait for standby, but we have the lightning lane, so we're gonna be able to just go right on in. Users, prepare to be digitized into the world of Tron. fancy with my GoPro harness. Look at that. Now it might uh, change up a little bit. The sound might be different once I switch over to this. But uh, yeah, I'm excited. It's gonna be a fun ride. Here it comes and look at us. We're in the front row. Oh, I can't tell where they're going this side. Prepare for Team Blue Light Cycle Run Upload Sequence. Remember, fun to me I just love that initial blast and I know a lot of people don't like how short it is but I, you know what I'll do this I'm gonna list a bunch of rides that I think this ride is better than like number one I think this ride is better than rock and roller coaster I feel like rock and roller coaster is way too short and I also feel like this ride and this is this is gonna be a little controversial but I think Tron is better than Seven Doors Mine Train. I'm saying it, it's not better than Big Thunder, it's not better than Space, it's not better than Expedition Everest or Slinky Dog, or I'm trying to think of other coasters. Um, it's definitely not better than Guardians of the Galaxy, but I do think it's better than Seven Doors, I think it's better than Rock and Roller Coaster, and uh, I love it, I love it. Something I think that is really funny and I wanted to point out to you guys is I don't like carrying around bags with me and I'm wearing shorts so I don't have many pockets. So to carry my GoPro around today, I just wore it as a belt. Like I literally just wore it as a belt. It's just hanging out around my waist like a fanny pack and I'm using it to hold my hat and stuff and to hold up my pants. Very multi-purposeful, multi-purposeful. <laughs> Now that we have officially rode Tron, I wanted to come out and try the new drink. It's a pina colada slushy. I've had the watermelon one before, but this one they just changed within the week. And it looks like they also, oh, I thought maybe they got more food, but they didn't. It's the end of the line here. That's it, just the strawberry isoform and the chocolate cake donut holes, which I've had both. May I introduce you to the Pina Colada slushy? Look at that, it's got some Pop Rocks on the top there. And uh, where'd those bubbles come from? Oh, that was majestic. But yeah, I'm excited to drive it. I'm not a big fan, I'm, I'm not a big fan of Pina Colada in general, but this looks 
like very refreshing. Let's give this a sip here. I'm so hot right now. Anything icy cool tastes delicious. And this is really good. <laughs> I drink it in one sip though. Like, I, it's almost all gone already. I'm so hot. It's very pina colada. Yeah. I guess that's the way we're gonna describe it. I like it. It's refreshing. It's not bad. It's not horrible. I think I like the water one. I like the watermelon one better. But holy moly, I'm sucking this right down. I didn't even touch the pop rocks or the pineapple until now because I drank all of it first. But my mouth is popping. It's popping. And with that, I think we are done here today. I had a lot of fun today. It was good to come out and ride a lot of rides and eat tons of food and show you guys and make a video. I laughed a lot. So many memorable experiences, especially Captain Jack Sparrow. I feel like that's gonna be the highlight of the day for me. But now it's time to start making our way out. I know that we had a lightning lane for Bud Lightyear, but it's getting too hot out. I wanna go home, I wanna see Gracie, and uh, yeah. I hope you enjoyed the video. I enjoyed making it. It was great to be back in Magic Kingdom, and uh, we'll see you uh, next time. Bye! Of course, we couldn't forget about this precious angel here. Did you have a good day? Huh? Did you have a good day? All right, you want to go for a walk? Let's go for a walk. Come on.